Are you a pro makeup artist on the go? Or maybe you're just a lipstick junkie? When the only way to identify what color lipstick you want when all the packaging looks the same is to turn every single one over or open every single cap, you could tend to not even want to reach for your collection anymore. You've spent the money, so why not use the product? Recently, I've melted some of my lipsticks into a pro palette and it's made such a difference. But what about the leftover lipsticks sitting in the tube? Before you chuck them, check out how much product you have left. You'd be surprised at what you could save. You can save up to 10 applications. I don't know about you, but 12 to $24 a lipstick, I want every ounce of application I can get out of the tube. So today, I'm going to be melting the lipstick remains into paint pots. To start off, you're gonna need some paint pots. These paint pots are from Michaels. They were $2, but you can use anything you want. Next, you're going to need a candle. This is also from Michaels. A metal spoon. This one's from my kitchen. Damn phone. And any small tool that you wanna use to scrape out the lipsticks. I'm using the back of a match just because it's small and convenient. And lastly, your lipsticks. So let's get started, okay. First, make sure your tube is twisted up all the way. Make sure that you can access the lipstick conveniently. So from here, you're going to take your match and just start scraping out as far down as you can go into the tube. Depending on the finish of the lipstick will depend on how easily the lipstick will come out due to the particle size and spacing. So once you scrape out the lipsticks, you're gonna put it directly onto the spoon. Then you're going to want to go back into the tube and just make sure that you get all that remains. From here, a really important step is to take a clean paper towel and just wipe the bottom of the spoon to get any excess lipstick off because you don't want that to burn and melt into the candle. Now you're gonna hover the spoon over the flame and tilt it in a way that brings the lipstick towards the center so that it doesn't fall off. From here, I just move the lipstick around so that it's not burning in one place. The same concept as moving around your blow dryer on your hair so that you don't burn your scalp. Then, once it's all melted, take the spoon off the candle and pour it into the paint pot. After it's done, I just tap the spoon down to make sure I get as much lipstick off the spoon as possible. Once you're done with your first lipstick, you're going to want to wipe the spoon off, but it's gonna be extremely hot. So make sure you have enough paper towel uh, room in between so that you don't burn your hand. Also, don't forget to wipe off your scraper tool as well. And then move on to the next lipstick color. And then just keep repeating this process. Some tubes will have more than others, like this one has a lot more lipstick than the other one. But um, at least you're saving whatever remains. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. You can basically use this for any lipstick melting. Uh, this is the same concept I use for the Pro Palette. It's just digging out the remainder of the tube. You can use these paint pots for samples. You can gift these to a friend. You can use a full-size lipstick and break it up into four different lipstick wells. Or you can store them in your vanity for your personal selfish uses. Whatever you decide to do, be creative. I'm makeup artist Sam Rue, and until next time, enjoy your lipsticks.